While eating with his father, Ramsay tells him that he managed to persuade House Serwin, one of House Stark's vassals, to pay their taxes by flaying Lord Major Serwin, his wife and older brother alive, and coercing their son, Clay, to pay in their stead. Finally out of patience with his son, Roose scolds Ramsay for his actions, because since Tywin Lannister is dead, the Lannisters will no longer support them and they will not be able to hold the North with terror alone, since the Northern Houses will eventually rise up against them at the slightest excuse. Roose then reveals that he has arranged for Ramsay to marry Sansa Stark to placate the Northerners. When Sansa arrives, Ramsay greets her with politeness. Later, Peter Baelish speaks with Ramsay, who promises never to harm Sansa after Baelish subtly warns him against it. As Ramsay takes his leave, he expresses his gratitude to Baelish for finding him a suitable match. Later, Miranda tells Ramsay of her jealousy for Sansa, since Ramsay had previously promised to marry her while he was still a bastard. Ramsay coldly admits his attraction to Sansa and openly states his opinion of her beauty, and becomes angry when Miranda threatens to marry someone else and leave him. Ramsay approaches Miranda and reminds her of what he does to people who bore him. He forces himself on Miranda. She bites his lip hard, but then reciprocates. Ramsay later confronts Reek about his encounter with Sansa, and warns him not to keep secrets from him again. Though he seems like he will punish Reek, he ultimately forgives him. At dinner, Ramsay initially expresses delight at his wedding to Sansa, but things turn sour when he brings Reek into the room and coerces him into apologizing to Sansa for allegedly killing Bran and Rickon, and suggests that Reek should give Sansa away at their wedding. Roose puts a stop to his son's behavior by announcing that Walder is pregnant with a boy. Ramsay's expression turns angry, as he sees Roose and Walder's child as a potential threat to his position as his father's heir. After dinner, Ramsay expresses his distress at the possibility of the unborn child jeopardizing his claim on the North to his father, who reprimands him for his behavior earlier but scoffs at his worry. He then regales Ramsay with the tale of how he met his mother a miller's wife who had married without Roos's knowledge or consent. Roos had the miller hanged and raped his wife beneath his swaying corpse, even though she fought him the whole time. Some time later, the miller's wife came to the dread fort and left the infant Ramsay with him. Roos had been prepared to throw Ramsay into the weeping water to drown, but stayed himself because he knew, deep down, that Ramsay is his son. Roos then states that Stannis Baratheon is at Castle Black and will likely attempt to take Winterfell from them during his journey to King's Landing, and Ramsay promises to help his father counter Stannis. Later, when Reek comes to fetch Sansa for the wedding, she refuses to hold Reek's arm, even after he pleads her to, saying that Ramsay will punish him if she doesn't. Reek then gives Sansa away to Ramsay, and they wed in front of the godswood. After retreating to the bedroom, Ramsay tells Sansa to take her clothes off. Reek is about to leave but Ramsay tells him he must stay. Ramsay quips to Reek, you grew up with her as a girl, now watch her become a woman. Annoyed by Sansa's hesitance, he angrily rips open the back of her dress and pushes her face down over the side of the bed. As he unbuckles his clothes, Sansa obediently remains still but begins crying softly. Reek is visibly distraught and begins silently crying himself as Ramsay proceeds to rape her, and though he is still too weak to intervene, a flash of anger briefly spreads across Reek's face as this is going on. Over the next few days, Ramsay continues to force himself on Sansa every night. He is informed by a reluctant Reek of Sansa's plan to escape by signaling Brienne of Tarth and Podrick Payne to come and rescue her, and retaliates by flaying Sansa's elderly maid who delivered Brienne's message to her. Ramsay forces Sansa to look at the corpse, and walks with her across Winterfell boasting about how he will succeed his father as Warden of the North and she will be his wardeness, but Sansa counters that Roose is expecting a boy with Walder, a boy who may be Ramsay's baby brother but may still become Roose's true heir, since Ramsay is still technically a bastard, who was even legitimized by Tom and Baratheon, who Sansa claims is also a bastard. Ramsay, visibly angered, counters that even bastards can rise, like her half-brother Jon Snow did when he became the new Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, and taunts Sansa for not knowing the news about Jon's new title. He then orders Sansa taken back to her chambers and locked up again. As Stannis approaches Winterfell, Ramsay is present at a council meeting on how to counter him. While Roose suggests that they wait out the siege inside Winterfell and allow Stannis and his army to die in the cold, or even for Stannis's men to mutiny against him, Ramsay advocates taking 20 of his best men to face Stannis in the open, on the basis that Stannis will not leave the North so easily, 
and they need to show the rest of the North how they will deal with southern invaders. Ramsay takes his men into Stannis's camp and they torch some of his tents, severely depleting Stannis's men and resources, and manage to flee back to Winterfell without being spotted. However, Stannis remains undaunted. Though his numbers are greatly reduced, he leads a siege to Winterfell. Ramsay, however, leads the Bolton forces into battle and massacres Stannis's men, sustaining minor cuts to the face in the process. In the aftermath, Ramsay slays a half-dead man, despite his claims of surrender. Having defeated Stannis, he heads back to Winterfell, saying, My wife must be lonely, unaware that Sansa and Reek have escaped from the castle, and the latter has killed Miranda.